Hey everyone, I'm Avelina Demore and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very special video. It is the pre-launch video of the Aurelia Voltaire Unicorn Ring. I'm super excited about this one and let's get straight into it. Okay, let's start by having a little chat about Aurelio Voltaire. I've been a fan of his for about at least 10 years. He's absolutely killing it on YouTube with over 200,000 subscribers. He has a show called Gothic Homemakers that has absolutely exploded and I hear it's an absolute hit in America. He's been called the Martha Stewart for macabre homemakers. I can't believe how much success he's having. It's just awesome to watch. He's released 13 studio albums to date and has had the David Bowie band play on his last record. It's fucking insane. Some of Aurelio's songs have had absolutely millions of views. It is insane. I'm so honored and humbled to be working with such an incredible and varied musician. He is best known for his own unique sound within the dark cabaret genre, and I really can't think of anyone that comes close to the sound that he's developed. He's really a force to be reckoned with. Now, two of my favorite songs on the Black Labyrinth album were definitely Friends in the Dark and Someone Like You. I've done a little rendition of Someone Like You. I couldn't get it out of my head and I just started jamming on it and I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna like cover it as a little tribute to Aurelio. So I hope you like it. I'm gonna put that in at the end of the video now. Aesthetically, we have a lot in common in that regard. Our philosophy um, behind how we style our houses and going Halloween shopping. And there's just there's just so much uh, reason and excitement for me wanting to contact and, and collaborate with Aurelio. And it was it was so easy. It was just like, hey, I love your work. And he's like, I love your work. I'm like, can we work together? He's like, yes. And it was so easy. And I believe when he does come back to Australia, which I don't know if it's at the end of the year or maybe in 2024, that we will be hooking up. And I, I hope I would be very honored to be featured on Gothic Homemakers and to show you all around uh, my little Gothic abode. If you haven't seen my gothic house to it, but I'll link it up in a card just up here. Go and give it a watch after this video. Now the rings that we came up with are the ones that I'm wearing. There's two versions. There's the 925 solid sterling silver version of the unicorn ring and the black version as well, which obviously ties into one of his songs called Riding a Black Unicorn. So there was just a lot of authenticity within this collaboration that I really enjoyed. The thing that I love the most about working with people that are also creative is that my skill tends to be taking their aesthetic and vibe and persona and aura, whatever you want to call it, and putting it into some kind of product. I've done it a lot with handbags in the past, and it's a lot of fun to also now start to do it with jewelry. Now, the challenge when designing a unicorn ring was, of course, to not make it overtly feminine. We wanted it to be unisex and not sit in the fantasy soft kind of unicorn vibe. We wanted it to be strong and fierce. And I think I think we got that. We worked on it together for quite a few months. And I'm just so pleased with how it came out. <laughs> I will be filming close up so you can see the rings up close on my fingers and you can get an idea what they're going to look like. But now I just want to get into the details about how you can pre-order this ring and what you can expect in regards to wait time. The samples have been done for a few months now. Aurelio does have his two versions with him in New York now and I believe we're just waiting for him to come back from a little tour. And then he will be also filming his launch video which will be the official launch of this collaboration. I just wanted to take the time to say thank you to anyone that has already pre-ordered the ring. That means a lot and hopefully the wait won't be too much longer. So the 925 ring, obviously with its size, it's quite expensive because it does actually take like a lot of silver. The inside of the ring is hollow though, so it's not heavy to wear. It's really comfortable and it was important for me to put a thick band on it. Um, so it is comfortable to wear. And yes, it is a little dangerous, but I mean, that kind of comes with the territory with my brand and a unicorn. Um, so <laughs> it's not for the faint hearted, but she's just beautiful. I think I put on my website that I find it to be like a constant reminder of the mystical and magical. And that's kind of what Aurelio and I were hoping um, you would get out of the ring if you were to purchase it. It's just a reminder that like there's magic in the world and that you're magical and that life can be magical. So let's talk a little bit about prices. The 925 version is 249 Australian dollars, and that's around 168 USD. Give or take a little bit for the currency fluctuation. The black stainless steel version is 74.95 AUD, and that is approximately $50.45 US cents. Of course, you've got shipping on top of that to consider as well, but shipping really isn't that expensive because they're super light and I can ship it to you just in a little box. Both rings are set with a Marquise Violet Cubic Zirconia Triple A grade, that's a fucking mouthful, stone. You've got two for each eyeball, obviously, and the Marquise shape is just stunning. There's so much detail here, and on the inside of the ring as well, which you'll see in the 3D videos that I'll put up, you've got my name, Avelina Damore, and then you've got the Voltaire logo, which is really cool. It's on either side. 
So it truly is a collaborative piece and a must have for any fan of Aurelia Voltaire or myself. Or maybe you're a fan of both of us. Now these rings are going to be available from size US 5 right through to 13. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be able to offer all of those sizes because that is a lot of sizes and it's damn expensive. The rings that I've done myself, I've only done US size 6 to 10. So this is like twice as many. And the main reason for that, obviously, I know it's important to be like size inclusive and have like a, a varied range of sizes, but I'm also still a small little business. Like I'm growing and I'm expanding, um, but unfortunately it's a, it's a monetary thing. So we're hoping the success of this collaboration will allow us to keep those size ranges open to have the smaller ones and the larger ones. Aurelio wears a size 13 himself, so I like I had to go up to that size. <laughs> I'm wearing a size US 7 in case you're wondering that fits on my middle finger. Now I can't do half sizes, that would absolutely double how many rings I'd have to get made. But what you can do, um, I would recommend in sizing up if you were unsure or, or if you were in between sizes. And for like a dollar on eBay or Amazon, you can get these little rubber bands that you put around. They're transparent, they're really not visible. Um, but it just hugs the bottom of the band. And it just allows it to go down like half a size. You won't be able to cut this. I'm already getting inquiries um, about resizing the rings because some people have um, tiny, tiny little cute fingers as small as like US 2 or 3. Um, and yes, you could cut it, but it's going like when they, when they resize a band, they have to heat it up. So you would terribly mess up the engraving on the inside. But I mean, if you have to do it, you have to do it. But there is an option to go down like half a size by using some of those little bands. So if you're uncertain, I would definitely recommend sizing up because you can always reduce it. But if it just doesn't fit, you can't do much about it other than sending it back to me and exchanging it. Which if you're in America is a bit of a pain in the butt. <laughs> Speaking of America, a lot of my fans are in America. Hi, how are you? I hope to be coming over there at the end of the year or in 2024. I'd love to do some performances or come to some events and just touch base with more retailers and try to expand my little dominion that I'm growing. But I did also want to ask if there are any gothic stores that are watching this video that would like to stock the Aurelio Voltaire ring or any of my other merchandise, please get in touch. I'd love to have you on board. And if you're just someone watching this and you know of a local gothic store, email me or even go into the store if you have one of my pieces. Or even if you don't, just go in with your phone on Instagram and, you know, say, hey, can you stock this brand? Because they're really cool. Um, if you wanted to do that, that would be amazing. I really appreciate it. Now, I know for my international customers, if you do add this ring, when you get to the checkout at my website, it will show you the price in your native currency. So in this example, that will be USD. So if you remember, this was 168 USD. It's really 249 Australian, but my website is just kind of translating it into your currency so you can get an idea of what you're going to be charged. When you get to the checkout and you get to the point where you're putting in your payment details, it will revert back to the Australian um, currency, which is going to freak you out because you're going to see 168 USD and then it's going to change to 249. And you're like, why the hell is it charging me so much more? That is in Australian dollars. I promise you it will be the first figure that hits or comes out of your bank account or PayPal, however you're using it. It's just, it has to go through in Australian dollars at the point of um, processing because that's what my bank account is in because I live in Australia. So please don't be alarmed by this change. It's totally normal. There's more information about it on my website. If you go to, I think it's like info and payments, um, there's a more detailed description of what happens there, but it's just the currency conversion and it's nothing to worry about at all. Now, I do need to mention that there are some differences in the packaging, depending on which ring you buy. If you go with the 925 version, the luxury limited edition version, your ring will ship in one of my fabulous little webtacular coffin boxes. Aren't they adorable? Now, if you really, really want the box, because I totally understand that, but you're purchasing the stainless steel ring, you can buy this separately. It's just called the Webtacular Coffin Box, and it is available on my website for purchase separately. <laughs> what I love with my coffin rings is that they come in a coffin box, but oh, just so cute, beautiful. It's got little silver spider webs on the side. If you purchase the stainless steel version, it will come in this beautiful little pouch. The 925 version also comes in the pouch. It's just also got the coffin gift box as well. So it's like a little added bonus, but this is still beautiful. I love that it's lined with blood red satin on the inside. It's a really well thought out. Just a little bit of luxury. So when you do your unboxings or if you give it to a lover or you buy it to yourself, it's just, it's a nice little moment. And I always want that to be a noticeable thing 
um, incorporated into my brand. It's like it's luxury, it's a touch of elegance, and it's gothic as fuck. Now, if you're wondering which ring to buy, it really is personal preference. It might be a monetary thing that makes you decide. Again, with that one being 74 and this 249 there is a huge difference. Um, but this one's also kind of more matte. Stainless steel won't tarnish the skin. So this is me not possibly downgrading you, but just being honest that if you were only buying this one because you're like, oh, I don't want it to like tarnish my skin, it's not brass. It won't it won't tarnish the skin. It's solid stainless steel. It's just black. The 925 one obviously will dull because it is pure 925 silver. So if you have like a little polishing cloth, once you give that a little buff with the cloth, it will always come back to its original shine. When we started designing the ring, obviously Aurelio wanted black and purple to be a feature because they are like his trademark colors. So when we were thinking about what color we should do the eyes, of course it was going to be purple. And I think that's what makes this one so iconic for Aurelio because it does have his trademark colors being black and purple. I'm absolutely honored as well that this has been crowned an official piece of merchandise for Aurelio. <laughs> now a little warning, the horn is quite sharp, like I didn't want to make a dull unicorn horn, so just be careful with it, make sure you don't impale yourself like Rasputin. A little bit of caution must be needed when wearing this ring. <laughs> Let's talk about pre-order times and how long you might expect to wait before these actually ship. So they're not in manufacturing, but the samples are complete and we're just waiting on getting enough pre-orders so I can cover the cost of manufacturing. And I believe that should happen, like if not on the day or a few weeks after the launch video hits Aurelio's YouTube channel and the official launch is done. I cannot wait to see a photo of the man himself wearing the rings. It's going to be amazing to put them up on the website and really make it feel like a true collaboration. Now, once we receive the amount of pre-orders that we need to start with manufacturing, the 925 version is always going to be manufactured quicker. I don't know why, uh, I can't really say why the process is quicker, but it's about 30 days and then I need them to be shipped to me. So if we just say 45 days to be safe, once we've received enough pre-orders, this will go into manufacturing and then you'll have a 45 day wait from that time. I have a manufacturing blog on my website that I always kind of pin in the top row. It's just called Manufacturing Updates. And for all of the collaborations that I've got going on, a lot of them are pre-orders. So on a weekly basis, I update what's going on there. So you could just um, go to my website and then click on blog, find the manufacturing update, and you'll be able to see um, the status of where it's at. Currently for this video, I think it says awaiting my YouTube video filming, which is what I'm doing for you now. And then we'll wait for Aurelio's and then we need to receive uh, enough pre-orders and then it goes into manufacturing. So there's a little bit of a process. And because of that, I like to be really transparent with my customers so you know that there is going to be a wait and it's not immediately in stock. I also have a weekly newsletter that I send out. I hope one day it will be as successful as um, Aurelio's newsletter, which is just a lot of fucking fun. It's called The Coffin Chronicles. You can sign up on my website. There is a button literally called sign up. You can join and I also put weekly updates and sales that aren't available anywhere else in that newsletter. These sales are only to the people, the thousands of people that are in my newsletter. So if you want to get maybe a little discount code, go and sign up. I'd love to see them. Now getting back to stainless steel, the manufacturing time is a little longer. I've been told 60 to 70 days. So like it's over two months and that's once we reach our pre-order time. So. It's really hard. I don't like giving dates. I used to do that. And now I'm just like, look, it's going to be a little minute. As soon as I can, I will get it started like without delay. So just know that as well, as soon as it is absolutely possible. And even if like a little bit before, if I'm like, shit, yeah, we're going to get there. And it's like steady and sales are coming in. I will start it early um, just to get that going. So please know I will do it as soon as possible because I all want you to have the rings and enjoy them as quickly as possible. What a fabulous way for Aurelio's fans to support him. I can't wait for him to start to see um, photos of his fans going to his shows that he does all around America and start to wear this iconic piece of jewelry. It's going to be such an honor. I'm really excited about it. Now, if you have any questions, you can just put them below and I will comment as quickly as I can and get back to you. You can also contact me at my email, at my website. If you have specific questions on sizings, there are size charts on my website. If you're uncertain, as to the size, you could always go into a jewelry shop. They have all the different sizes, so you could literally, you know, figure out which you are if you're not sure. I understand that there's a bit of hesitation or trepidation in regards to ordering online, especially if you haven't before, and especially when it's something with sizes, like most things have sizes, shoes, clothing, rings, but it's just a bitch when it doesn't fit. So if you're not certain about your size, I would highly recommend going into a jeweler, 
just ask, hey, what size am I on my middle finger or whatever finger you'd like to wear it on? Um, and that's personal preference too. I can't get it on my thumb because it's not big enough. I think it looks really cool on the index finger there. And then you could wear other rings as well. Um, you might like it on your pinky, especially if you're a guy and the ring ends up kind of looking smaller on your um, your pinky. That would look dope as fuck. It does have a very gothic and mystical vibe to it, but it's also got this like slight biker vibe. I've always loved big chunky rings, as you know from my Bab coffin ring here. I like big, I like like shows, I'm like, whoa, I like conversation starters. I'm not looking to try to do normality or blend into the crowd. So this is definitely like a conversation starter. And I can't wait to hear about all the incredible conversations that you have once um, you all have these on your fingers and start wearing them to Aurelia's shows. Now, a cool thing about these 3D videos that you've been seeing that are showcasing these glorious rings is that we actually ended up using the song Riding a Black Unicorn, which is so fitting. Uh, there's just so many like elements to this that were a lot of fun. There was the music that gave it a lot of depth that linked into the collaboration. There was our joint interest in the gothic aesthetic and the subculture. And of course, we're both musicians. So check out my singles if you haven't. I've got Like a Drug, Cruel, a cover of Caramel White by Marilyn Manson. And also an upcoming single of Lady Gaga's Bloody Mary that I'm super excited about. <laughs> oh, I just had to stop to make a cup of tea. I got super thirsty. So going back to talk about uh, my next single, Cruel, it's like a join of maybe like a female Jack White mixed in with Black Sabbath. It's a lot harder than my first single, Like a Drug, which is more kind of sitting in the realm of maybe like Queens of the Stone Age. So I can't wait for you to hear it. And if for some reason you're hearing about Aurelio Volta through me, which I think is really unlikely because I think it will be easy on the way around, but please go out and check out his music on YouTube or Spotify and make sure that you're following us both on social media. Are these cups just gorgeous? I think they look better too, just because I'm wearing the ring. I'm really into like mixed metals at the moment. Like I'm liking gold and silver at the same time. And I'm thinking that I'd like to do some rings you know, where they have just a little bit of gold highlights. Or maybe even um, copper at the same time. So silver, brass and copper. All right. So I think we've covered everything about this collaboration. It's super, super exciting. It's on pre-order. There's going to be a significant wait. It's going to be totally worth the wait. You can find out about the wait times at my website, either by signing up to my newsletter called The Coffin Chronicles, or you can go to the blog and find the manufacturing updates. There's two ways you can find out the status. You can comment below or send me an email if you have any questions in regards to the materials. All of that kind of stuff is listed on the website, so please go there and make sure you check it out. My launch video will be up on YouTube a few days, weeks before Aurelio's will hit YouTube. And I believe we might be doing on the day that he launches his video, like a joint kind of video chat thing. That will be really exciting. It'll be really nice for us to speak like in the flesh, so to speak. And I think it'd be a lot of fun for fans as well to see us engage and just have a conversation about the collaboration and all the joint interests that we have. Thank you so much again to anyone that may have already pre-ordered the ring. If you're about to pre-order it or you do in the future, thank you. It means a lot. I really appreciate you supporting both myself and Aurelio. A huge thank you to Aurelio. Man, I love you. Cannot wait to meet you. Hopefully it'll be in the flesh in 2024. Would love to play a song with you. So I'm going to jump over to my little music area here and play that for you now. When I first listened to this album by far, my favorite songs were Friends in the Dark. And this one, Someone Like You. This is my little rendition of it, hopefully. I was lost, I was shattered
right. I hope you enjoyed that performance, Aurelio. I hope I did your beautiful song justice. That track really touched me. Beautiful song. Well fucking done. All right. I will see you guys in the next video. Stay safe. Be happy. Keep black. Bye. <laughs>